Hello, Liz from Thailand here. Today's video is going to be about why I chose to live in Thailand when I retired. This goes back quite a while to maybe 2002 is when I first came to Thailand. At the time I was going through a divorce, quite a messy divorce and there was a lot of bad things happening in my life. So a friend of mine asked me to come to Thailand with him as there was three other people that had never been to Thailand before we were all going to go together. We were all firefighters, we all worked in the fire brigade, so I knew the people that was going. And at first I was hesitant and I said, no, I don't know, I don't know, but I got talked into coming for two weeks to Thailand. And as I say, my head was in a, in a bad place, as anybody's head is in a bad place when you're going through a divorce. You can't think straight, you can't see straight. Everything is feeling against you. So when I came to Thailand, uh, for my two weeks, it was like a breath of fresh air. I just put everything to one side and I thought, right, I'm going to have a good time here, I'm going to enjoy myself. So we, we first arrived in Pattaya and it was like, oh my God, look at this place here. It was just like, can't believe it. It's beautiful, sunshine and plenty of things to do. Um, so yeah, I was like a kid in the candy shop for the first week. And then we went over to Koh Samui for our second week holiday. Now Koh Samui, I loved, loved that place. It was a beautiful island and it's much more developed now than it was back in 2002. I remember we stayed in a shack on the beach, right on the beach, opened the door and you could step into the sea. It, it was stunningly beautiful. Anyway, as you do, I, I met a girl over there on Koh Samui and we hit it off really, really well. Everything was great, everything, you know, we just clicked and she could speak good English. And she asked me to go back to her place where she lived and see how she lived. Well, my friend said, no, don't do it, Les, don't do it, because you'll be shocked. He said, it's not very nice, these girls live in poverty. Well, I just wanted to go and see. I wanted to go and see how these girls lived. So she took me back to where she lived on Kosamui Island. And all I can describe it was, it was like a garage with two beds in there. And that garage was shared by two girls, but the other girl was away with a boyfriend, so she just had the, the room to herself. No fun, no nothing. And the, the bathroom was a hole in the floor and a 45 gallon drum, and that was the shower, where you scoop the water out onto yourself. It was very, very, very basic. And if I could explain it, there was like eight other garages in this little complex where all the rooms were full of, of the Thai working girls. But it overlooked a lake and it was a beautiful view outside of these eight garages. And later on that evening, a guy came and he was one of the top chefs at the hotel close by. And he cooked a meal for, for everybody. And there was only me, I was the only foreigner amongst all of these people that were, were staying there. And he got his guitar out and started playing a song. Just as the sun was going down, so I had something to eat, he was playing a song. And I looked at these people here who had nothing. And I'm thinking, these people here have nothing, but they're happy. This is their life. This is what they, they're used to, to living like and it was just happiness and I'm thinking and I had all my jobs working seven days a week loads of money coming in but the stress of, of working all of them hours obviously paid the toll because I ended up going through a divorce so my thoughts were is it worth it and the answer was no it wasn't it doesn't matter how much money you have there's always somebody more wealthy than you and these people who lived with nothing were more happy than I was with everything that I perceived was everybody should have nice cars nice holidays nice house everything but it was all wasted so the the following night we went back to my hotel and it changed my views on life with regard to living with nothing you don't need all of them things so when i got divorced came back to england got divorced and then I, I lived in a one bedroom flat, not in a very nice area, but I started again. I started again with nothing. I ended up going through bankruptcy, which took everything away. Even my car, I had absolutely nothing. 
I had the clothes that I walked around with and that was it and I had to start all over again from new after losing everything through divorce and um, over the next eight years I knew then in 2010 when I retired I was going to travel the world and I was going to live like a backpacker and see everything no longer did I ever want possessions with regard to buying a house or living in a house or living in one place I just moved around and that was the whole idea of moving to Thailand that was my step if everything went wrong everywhere else you could always go live in Thailand because it's, it's relatively cheap and now here I am I travel around in 2010 for two years and I've lived in Thailand now for eight years so anybody who's going through the divorce, anybody that's going through a hard time in life, whether it be work or with the, what's just happening now with the virus, life can change. Life can change at the drop of a hat. It's well within everybody's abilities to change their lives. No need to, to do the norm, what everybody else does, live in the same box. Look outside of the box, look outside, see what other other opportunities are available. Again, like I said, I've lived here for eight years now and I've loved every single minute of it. If I ever leave this country, I get homesick because I leave this country. When I go back to England, visiting family and friends, I always want to get back to Thailand. This is my home now, Thailand. I love this place. Okay, there's a lot of bad feelings about the Thai immigration, changing the visa rules. That's nothing. That, that's a small hurdle to overcome so my advice is once everything's over with this crisis over the world the pandemic go and find other places to live go and find a change of lifestyle change your life for the better so from les living the dream in thailand until the next time bye for now